Hello guys, Alvarp here. Uh, we're back in Fate Helix. Um, and I forgot to turn off music. Die. So I'm just making sure I got everything right because I was just doing other stuff in this. And it's not as usual. So now we're correct in where things should be. And we got a hell of a lot of shoes. So I made these things. These are the things that go on the guys. And they're basically the opposite of what you typically have, but a little crappier. So pretty much they're decent backups for what you want. And why is the music still playing? Because this music should be off. Good. Um, but they're basically crappy versions of these um, that don't do the same thing. So I guess they're more like crappy opposites of these. But regardless, um, it's time to go to the top level of this. Then we claim it as our own. And ooh, ooh blah, blah, blah. And you know how I was saying something about safety rails? I did that right here, as you can tell. I can faintly hear the music playing, and it's really pissing me off. And right here is where safety rails. Good. Are you kidding me? I think I'm just crazy. But I definitely hear it. I'm just going insane, it's okay. It happens to everybody. Everybody goes crazy at one time or another. That is a fact. Right there. But yeah, so, I'm not sure if I've taken out the se second floor of this yet, but I guess we'll just find out right here right now. I have. So, the top floor has no spawners. Sorry to disappoint, um, but we can go there anyways, because we want to go there anyways. So that's kind of what we're doing here. Holy crap, where are you? Oh, you're right there. That's fine. Um... So yeah, no fun times up top. Um, that is the longest mushroom that took the longest to grow ever. Uh, it grew, but I didn't like that the block was off for some reason. And so I had to fix it. Um, and then Minecraft updated, so I didn't have world edit or TMI, so I couldn't make it. There you guys are. You don't really need a bow too much in this area. Just because of how much knockback your weapon has, it's just one shot kills. Now what would be cool is if I somehow used a beacon to, um... So, when I say light everything up, those guys will drop down on you. Everything evil will drop down on you from above and from the top of these mushrooms. Which I did not expect when I was making this, but I do like that element. It makes things a bit more dangerous. Uh, one. Oh, there we go. Uh, then back. But yeah, the um the boots that you have right here aren't actually that bad as backups, but they are certainly not as fun as these guys. I don't have any hat. That's uh, really sad. I could really use a hat. Um, you can't. Oh, this is the second time this has happened to me where there's a skeleton right there, and it is infuriating because they can just barely see you. But that's fine. See what I mean? He shoots at you. And then he dies, so it's okay. But yeah, this is in, this is kind of a cooldown um, island, if that makes any sense. So it's a lot easier than the other ones. There's, I think, one spawner, maybe two here. I think there are two, but one of them you never really will meet, unless you're looking for trouble. Or lighting the entire area up, which I'm probably not going to do this, because the spawns are... Um, I might encounter one of them, but... Honestly, it's not a deal. That's where it is. Okay, but we can kind of just hide around up here and get shot at and make him follow us. So you will see what the plan is. Okay, now we get these guys. So now we now you get bonus health, but you go a lot slower. And here's that's that's right. There is a second mob, and that is him. Um, I typically never, every time I test this map, I never took that spawn out just because I found that it really wasn't worth it. But, they do give you a chest plate if you don't find this, which is kind of convenient. That was the main purpose of them. But yeah, now you get to unflaunt your inferior mobility and instead just be a tank. Which is okay. Tanks are fun. And then you also get a diamond helmet, which is convenient because my helmet just broke. And then you get some raw iron sword, which actually isn't that great, but again, it's all back up here at this point. Um, I'm going to put on the diamond hat. And then I, do, I don't feel like bring progressing my loot. Um, oh, hey. You aren't an enemy? What the hell? That's just weird. So this next area. If there is one stupidly unbalanced section of this map, this is one of those three. 
These are the ones that I feel iffy about. And these are the ones that, if you complain about, I will feel bad about. That area right over there. The amount of things is completely ridiculous. There should be two or three spawners. I can't remember whether I broke one of them. Um, over there, one's there. One's on the other side of that thing. Or, no, one's there, one's there, and one is on the other side of that pillar, just too high for you to reach. And then we have ballet guys. So, okay. First of all, I hear an enemy. Here he is. Um, <laughs> here he is. But, I guess we're safe. If he starts shooting at us, we can shoot back. So, first, we just want to clear out this place. Because if you got... It's a, it's a crazy town. Um, even before, there's normal spawns. Um, now, adding in the fact that there are abnormal spawns, this area can become a hellhole very fast. Get dead. And, holy shit, you're still not dead. You might have good armor. You are fully enchanted, so I guess that would be expected, but still, I want it. Nah, holding crouch. Um, and then... Yep. Ooh, I accidentally sprinted there. Once you get there, there you go. Perfect. That's it? Oh crap, are you kidding me? This is the way I die? Yep, this is how I die. Wonderful. So, that definitely falls under the, um, the condition of a pathetic flop. Um, yeah. That's really all I can think of to describe it. But, thankfully, I did a good job, especially in this area, of providing decent backup loot, so... I think the one thing I didn't do for myself was bring arrows, which actually is a big mistake. But that's okay. So, that area killed me in a way I did not expect. In a very pathetic way that I did not expect. But that's okay. We can... We can fix that. And holy shit, that's a lot of torches. I kind of went overboard. We can get rid of you. And we can get rid of you. Um, right. So let's just go normal torch time. Leather pants. Um, and crappy FOV time. And stone sword. And boop. And then you get eight. As our tradition thing goes. Actually, I can get six and save it a lot more. Okay. Perfect. Um... Yeah, 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 there we go. That should be all we need. And maybe some blocks that we'll get from things. Or actually, no, we have better loot. In the That's right, we got loot in the tower. Holy crap, I walk slowly. I blame my death on that. Ooh, that slot and ominous. Good for me. Good, good, good. Um, but that was a shameful death. And that will never be spoken of. That thing that never happened. As in what thing. But this is what happens when you don't pay attention um, in a map of anyone. And then you walk over the void. Alright, so we can actually go... Uh, this is not a great... So because I know what's happening next, um, you want to go for... Uh, smite is pretty much the best thing in this map. Not a smiter, spider smasher, that kind of was put in as a joke, but also as a thing. Um, this is probably better. Knockback, I've kind of gained a liking. Are you kidding me? Dead. Look, it takes three whole shots to kill him now, and he doesn't even give me arrows. I need arrows. God damn it. Okay, at least he didn't blow up stuff. Um, but yeah, that's what happens. Um, when you don't pay attention, as usual, just like last time. See, even when you do light up three-fourths of the place, this, the one quarter kills you. It gets you every time. Every single time. Then you have to slowly break through things. Only to realize that you probably don't have a crafting bench on you, and so you're going to have to break more things. Just so you can make a stone pick that you also realized you forgot and was rather important. Oh man, I am so great at this game. Um, and now the entire server knows the server of one because this isn't being run on a server. It's really not even a server. Ooh! MLG right here. Um, alright, but. Oh shit, I did that. Yeah, good job. Um, but now we're gonna go like this and like that. So I guess this is the kind of base thing. This is it. 
because um, all of my things, well, all of my mobs in this map, at least custom mobs, are um, skeletons, and that was intentional because um, I did not want to have to worry about balancing the um, crazy new zombie swarming mechanics. So having a customized zombie would be hell to have to balance. Versus these, I want them to be kind of like other mobs, not related to zombies and stuff. That was kind of the intention. I wanted them to be them to be original custom mobs. So I mean, I could make something like the Zombie King if I wanted to call it that, but I opted not to. Ah, crap! That was supposed to go. The hell? Oh, okay. Wait, that was two of them. Oh, that should make you nervous. Which makes me nervous. Good, good, good. So I know those, um, there's a 20% chance drop rate of everything. Uh, that's pretty much standard in this. Um, oh, we can get a... This. Perfect. And now, after becoming extremely underprepared, killing ourselves, and, um... Oh, I lost a sign. There's a sign that said, wow, I'm a dick. Uh, okay. Or maybe that's later on. I don't know. We're going to light it up. Jesus, more than you want full blast of that um, potion right there. Okay, good. So step one is always break this guy. These guys will wreck you if you don't watch him. Um, now we just have to regen. Oh, okay, good. Wow, I like predicted that or something. Uh, we're going to travel lightly. Well, good job, me. We're going to travel lightly, though. Um, because these guys are not fun. They're very not fun. Uh, but the idea of this is fairly obvious. I think you can pick it up. Um, if you can't, then A, learn to. And B, uh, I want the player to blow up the spawners because that's freaking fun. However... Because of the excess, this is an area that I've gotten stuck in many times. Um, and because of that, my strategies are not among the best, or else I wouldn't have been stuck in this area many times. So, this is a place where, you, if you're using my strategies, he, you might want to be a bit cautious with my advice, because that's what happens. So, as you can tell, I die. Um... Thankfully, we also know a thing or two about um, resource safety and keeping track of your shit. Um, but yeah, uh, this is also in an Ender Pearl, or not Ender. Pearl, actually, so as you heard me say earlier, um, I d do not know all the strategies to solve my own areas because I don't design areas with a strategy in mind. I design it with an idea of how things will look, or at least I design this one and all the other ones with an idea of how they'll look, and then kind of the form of the area and the rel and the balance of it came from that, not some kind of a grand inspiration thing. So from that we get areas and stuff like that from it. Not the other way around, which is what I think a lot of people expect to see. So with that in mind, um you have to remember that my strategies for my areas might actually be some of the crappiest. It might also be with the fact that I'm very bad at these maps, even if I do make a half decent one. Or at least I think my map is decent. <laughs> you never. Yes, you agree with me. Um, so, just keep that in mind whenever you see me fail miserably at my own map. Um, because I've died twice in the same point, practically. And yes, so the blue people, they have, um, not. They have punch on their bows. And I believe that's it. They might have some kind of level of unbreaking. But it's insignificant, really, um, because you don't want the bow. You have the bow of the bridge fighter, um, so you shouldn't care. Are you freaking kidding me? I'm going to get a bow from right here if you would wait two minutes to let me freaking attack you. I could at least kill you in an easier fashion than using a goddamn pick. I mean, come on. And look, you're the second guy to not drop anything. Are you serious? Right, so... You still aren't bad stars. Sharpness 1, Unbreaking 1, and... 
and a strong ability to kill spiders is not necessarily negative, it's just not as positive as knockback 3. So, it doesn't mean it's complete shit and useless. It just means it's not as good in relative shit and relative uselessness. Very different. Okay, I don't know what just happened there other than the fact that a spider probably attacked me. And therefore it deserves to die. And this should probably two shot them, yeah. It's a good thing I didn't give them one with smite because that would be completely game breaking. So yeah, that's second area. Alright, this one, I guess this is the fourth section, does not really need any kind of lighting up. Because it's so light on the spawners that honestly, just act like it's a honey pot and kill the two guys that attack you and be happy about yourself. Just watch out for the um the blue people spawner because I don't even remember where they spawn. So I don't expect you to find it. And if you do, congratulations. That means nothing. Sorry to disappoint. Um why did you do that? I don't know. But we have this now. Which is someone oh good, good, good. So um my intended strategy, as I've mentioned many times before, is TNT. But, right now, the intended strategy is run away, because intended strategies don't always work. Um, so, we're going to drop off a couple of these, just only have five. Um, blah, blah, blah. So, we've got a couple angles to take. Well, first of all, let's kill this guy. Okay, and then we're... So, yeah, make sure to take advantage of those instant health that they drop, too. Because that is something that are this is something that's pretty damn useful that I don't think a lot of people are gonna notice because obviously it's not stated explicitly, but I think it's just kind of something that the the player might think, oh, that's kind of useful, like torches, the things that I forgot to bring. So that's always good. You should always have torches and um blows things up and then hide in the corner and then double place perfect um, now we can kill you but now if we can get a good angle at that we get to make it do the explodey thing come on yeah okay um might be considered a crab box, but I should play it's my map, so I'm not allowed to cheat at it. Okay, so the blue people are in this map, or are in this island, and they are annoying as hell. I can verify this. Um, I hate them too, but yeah, I hate them too. That's really about it. Um, oh, good job. Yeah, that's flame right there. Um, proper way to blow something up. We just need. One TNT apparently, which is very important for these situations. If we can bait them to that, it would be nice, but unfortunately we can't. We also don't have any arrows. Bring ten. Okay. Um, we could really use food. It'd be really nice if you guys could just freaking quit shooting at me. How does that miss? Okay. You know, if you don't get dead, I will hate you forever and ever. So, get dead. Good. And then, flammo. Hopefully that'll at least hurt him. That's the fun part. Um... Yeah, you give me. Well, shit. It was nice knowing you, world. I don't know how we're not dead yet, but we should be pretty soon. Yep, there we go. That insight right there. So we get a protection one um, hat from those guys too. So as you can tell, um, this is a tough area, especially when you forget to bring torches. But you can also tell my inability to play my map. So it's good to see my predictions are on the dot. And we're going to go one more attack at that place because honestly I am pretty close to beating it. You can throw yourself at this map if you are pointed with it. And that's something, that that part was intentional because as someone who's bad at this map, um, or at maps in general, not necessarily this map, this is actually one of the maps that I'm better at, um, it does, in any map, it's frustrating when you repeatedly die. And so if you can give the player that little bit, those little hints of, 
success, it makes the map that much more fun. And that's kind of what I was going for here. It's just that little bit of, yeah, I died this time, but next time, I might be able to win. But, I don't know. Maybe I'm just being a jerk and making it like gambling or something, where people think that they are going to do better every single time. But, I like thinking that I'm nice to the player, because, or, not necessarily nice, but I make an, but that I'm not making them manipulated and stuff. Except for if they fall for a trap or something, which I think there's only one up in this map. And I'm not sure if anyone fell for it, or if they did, it was kind of, like, even the thing that it's hiding is kind of hidden. So the odds that someone fell upon it, you gotta think the odds that first someone thought of going downstairs in the section that it's in, which you'll, you'll know what I'm saying when you see it. And secondly, the odds that, um, something else happened that I can't think of now. Um, so yes. That's what I was talking about. So basically, not trap heavy at all, this map isn't. That's a creeper. And you can go die in a fire. Whoa, that's right, I forgot to make a, made a chest under this thing. I was planning on putting a spawner there, but instead I decided to put some, um... Some spash... They were supposed to be rabbit potions, I think is what they were called. Ugh, they're called splash potions of leaping. It's a stupid name. I have to rename them bunny potions or something. Because that's a dumb name and I don't like it. But. And then you also get your nine ender pearls, which are pretty much standard. Um, I know they don't sound like a pretty standard thing, but in this map, you get your nine ender pearls and pretty much anything else. Because I think ender pearls are nice and useful for getting rid of the annoying bridgingness. Oh, you can see that I have loads of cobble right here that I can use to make the pick and stuff. Repeatedly opening and closing it, and I bring one instead of three because that's what smart people do, and then we do that because that's what smart people do, and then we do this, but first we do that just so we don't do the other thing, and then we do this, and then we do that, and then we use lots of pronouns, and then stuff happens. Demo. Pronoun nomadic right here. Okay, but this could be helpful. Right, so. Basically, when you get your, um, so I haven't used an adrenaline shot yet, and I think I'm going to let you guys get a taste of what that looks like, because it is very fun. However, because I keep on getting killed by their knockback, not their, um, actual damage, it's not going to do much, but it's still fun as hell, and you go a lot, and you go a little bit faster, and it's just fun. So, I'm going to do that. Um, we're going to bring you along, but we're not necessarily going to use you. So I might be able to actually, which kind of guy is this? If this is one of the, um, blues, we want him. Where is he? Come on, fight me. 1v1 me. Good, get over here. Close, close range is always the best with these guys. Um, right, they can't see through this, so come on. <sighs> come on, aggro on me. Ah, why do I have to give this bow too much knockback? Or, yes, bow. Bows and knockback happen. Why do I kill everything that I try to kill, but in the wrong way? Whatever. Not worth it. Um. Then we can fall, and then this guy is somewhere dead. There might be some of the loot there. Walking down for loot. Oh yeah, I get a whole level. Woohoo. Yay. So we're going to walk upstairs. And continue walking upstairs, and then walk up more stairs, and then check for loot again in places where we know there isn't any loot. And then, ha! There's more of them. Get over here. Come here. There we go. Come here. Come here. Stop shooting me. Come on. Come on. Come on. We're gonna use you on him. Um. Because that's the smart thing to do. Come on, where are you? There we go. Oh, you fell out of the void. Okay, you're cool. Or you fell into the void, more accurately put. Um, well, that's awesome, isn't it? You just think you're so cool, because... You don't need to freaking have a bow, like me. Who doesn't have a... God damn it, that wasn't even my fault. So, now we know, um, every single time I've died... 
fell out of the world, fell out of the world, fell out of the world. And that last time is particularly infuri infuriating because I did jump. And I totally made that. So I'm calling BS. But we're gonna go. Actually, I want one big push on it, not one wa walk into death on it. So, yeah. We're gonna go again. So now you see why. Yeah, basically what happened is because of the half slabs, and because there's half. So this is a little step up. So if I time the jump just right, I can actually not jump if it's at the same time as when I'm walking on this. You can't tell. I don't know why I think you can tell that I'm jumping. So if I go a bit too early, like this, or a bit too late, I'll just go like that. But if I go just right, I can go and not jump. Which is exactly what happened then. Basically, I am the victim of really crappy luck. Uh, okay, now you guys get away and out of my life. One, two, three. And I don't know why I need you, but I do. So, you don't really need armor that much for this area. And the next area is still fairly easy. In fact, I'm I'm kind of worried about that area if you watch this because... <laughs> the reason I say if you watch this is actually because if you watch this, you will learn... I think the area is fairly beatable uh, without beating this area, and then you can get full diamond, which is kind of not fun. And that is, like, that's sequence breaking technically, but at the same time, um, I think part of that responsibility is with me as the, the map maker, the person who made the map, to make it tough to do that, versus walking into the wrong intersection and thinking, why well, look at that, how nice of him, I now have full diamond armor, we should attack this easy area next. But I think that it's, it's not totally okay, obviously, but I think that it's a little improved by the fact that I, um, we're going to use you guys instead, actually. It's a bit more permanent. By the fact that, um, well, obviously you can tell by what, how many times that I've done what too, um, is that the more dangerous thing isn't the armor that you're wearing, but the, um, the fact that things knock you off the edge. And yes, you can be dealt large, large amounts of damage, but that's not the reason that you die. The reason that you die is because you got knocked off the edge. Because you're trying to run away after you're dealt large amounts of damage. The large amounts of damage is that optional, obviously, but it still holds. And so I don't know why I decided glowstone now, but I did. And so we're using glowstone now. Good. Glad you agree with me on my executive decision as the map maker. Okay, so that should cut him down a lot. Um, good. I'm sorry I used the sword, but it, I had no choice. Um, now we can get arrows, my ration of arrows, to use with this. Um, but we're going to hide in the corner for a little while, and get... Oh, where are these guys? Oh yeah, you're, you're not one of them, what the hell? It feels like you're one of them, but you're not. What did you do with the real one? Oh shit, dudes. Um, I, where's the glowstone torch thing? Oh yeah, that's actually kind of convenient, because I can place it anywhere. And then you get a snack here. And you hide. Um. How'd you get here? Am I that dumb? I'm that dumb. Whew. I um, I should have used the, um, whatchamacallit. The other thingy, but that's okay. Um, I might still have to use the adrenaline shot. It gives you regen two bajillion and a half. Which is always nice and convenient. You basically get to live forever. For 30 seconds. See? Resistance 4. Not dying, ever. You gotta really screw something up or fall into the void to do that. Um, but it, obviously I did that multiple times, so... Ugh. Yeah, there's a lot of them, but... It's not bad. It's doable. As you will soon find out, because... Because this. I can't die. Bring it. Bring it. I should really use this. That's right. Void, 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 void. No, I'm not making coding mistakes. I mean, I, I'm scared of the void. And then we pop you as you fight each other. Good. We did it. We done did it. Oh crap. Let's just um, let's wait till we actually are a bit recovered. Because at this point, all you have is hunger and slowness, which is ugly, 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 ugly. <laughs> Now what I will use is this. 
<laughs> because that's good. And then also, um, if you got Riding Flesh, you got, I gave you Hunger too, but remember, um, it doesn't override it, but it gives you just as much food as you would have otherwise. And, yeah, it's basically zombie flesh without the zombie part, so. What's not to like? But we've beaten the first floor, and the next few are just as bad. So, um, have fun, I guess. But, yeah, again, possible imbalancing here. Thing that I considered fixing, it's in my, my list of possible giant errors in making this map, which I have. It's right next to me right now. I have it written down on a little note card. So, um, I'm gonna end the episode here, because I know that there's scary things up there that, um, would make me die, uh, and I've died four times this episode. So, no perfect front of my own map, ever. And I'm going to make this look a bit better. It's just irritating. But, yeah. So, uh, thanks for watching. Um, thanks for watching. I, I will see you next time. If you watch next time, which I actually won't see you because you're watching, not me. It would be really creepy if I watched you while watching. Why do people say that? Thanks for what? I don't know what I just said because I just realized that that makes perfect sense. So, um, before I think about too much about stupid things, I'm going to end this here. Goodbye.